Nathaniel coming out of stall eight. They're off and they're racing. And the one who missed it a bit was Color Vision. Also sluggish was Man of God. But one who broke well and leads early on with the sheepskin noseband is Dortmund from his stable companion, Genius Beast. Behind them in the yellow colors, Mayor on the far side, Cattle Morris King. Coming down the uh, middle of the track, we've got uh, Man of God in a good position. Also alongside this one in the very pale colors, uh, Bernita Star. Uh, looking back behind this is Frankel in the pink cap. He's tucked in mid-division at this stage. Then comes Lemon Drop Red. Then in the blue and white colors, we've got uh, El Rashid. And also prominent Nathaniel, who's come to join just Dortmund, who leads by about three parts of a length. On the far side, Genius Beast. Stand side, the pale colors, we've got Bonita Star. The yellow cap, that is the well back Nathaniel. Tracking this is the favorite, you can just see him in the pink cap, that's Frankel. On the left is El Rashid. On the right is Cattle Morris King. There's about seven spread right across the track, and they're all virtually level. Here they come down towards the last two furlongs. And on the left, it's Nathaniel with, in the pale colors, Bonnie the Star, in the light blue sleeves, Lemon Drop Red, the yellow colors of Mayer, the white cap of Dortmund. Just behind these, the favorite, Frankel, is asked to improve, and does so. Here they come now in the last furlong and a half, and here comes the favorite, Frankel, looming up alongside Nathaniel. And Frankel moves well. Frankel looms up alongside. He's Still on the bit, Ias Brick, Nathaniel pumping away, but still upside. The two market leaders settle down to battle it out. It's Frankel on the far side. Now, what has he got left? There's not a lot left, or is there? Frankel is coming away, or is he? Frankel's coming away to win it now. Wins nicely in the end. All set. And they're off, racing for the Totesport.com Greenham Stakes. And Frankham just content to get a bit of cover in the early stages. Tom Queeley has his stable companion, picture editor, heads on into the lead, followed by Celebration and then Vanguard Dream. Frankel taking a bit of a hold now, and then Shropshire, followed by Strong Suit held up at the back of the field. And the two Cecil runners, the two Henry Cecil train runners, picture editor and Frankel are first and second, followed by Celebration. Then Shropshire in the blue jacket, and the white jacket is Vanguard Dream, and lastly in red and green is Strong Suit. So Picture Editor is leading the field down towards the halfway stage. Picture Editor shadowed in second by Frankel. Then in third is Acceleration, followed by Shropshire. Strong Suit getting a bit closer towards the back with Vanguard Dream. Frankel right on terms with Picture Editor. Acceleration now kicking on on the near side as they race down to the final quarter mile. Acceleration busted along. Frankham is just being woken up now. His suit head slightly on one side there. Shropshire and Strong Suit back in fourth place. Frankel now takes over from Acceleration as they race towards the final furlong. Frankel begins to extend about a length and a half. Big run from Acceleration in second place. But Tom Queeley hasn't had to get serious at all with Frankel. And inside the final half, he's stretching away. And Frankel maintains his unbeaten record. And that was pretty impressive. They're off, they're racing then, and Dubalby Gold is slowly away from the gates for this. Kipco 2000 Guineas, Frankel got out well, Roderick O'Connor, and towards the near side, rerouted uh, with Frankel, who's gone on. Frankel leads to rerouted in second place, Native Khan, Casamento, the blue jacket, nose banded, is going to chase through. Re Roderick O'Connor just in behind, Native Khan taking a prominent position. Jubalbi Gold, happy today, have dropped out towards the rear of the field, but Frankel is already four lengths clear. He's heading down now towards the last half mile, and it's Frankel and Tom Queeley by five or six lengths to Casamento in second place, and then rerouted in third. Roderick O'Connor and Slim Shady and Native Khan just in behind those. Zamit comes next, and then comes Brooks. Jubalbi Gold is still at the back of the field, but at halfway, Frankel is almost ten lengths clear. They're heading then down towards the bushes now. Frankel continues to be in a massive lead to Casamento in second place and then rerouted behind that is powerful. Jubalbi Gold coming from the back of the field. But at the bushes, Frankel is 15 lengths clear. Frankel is heading down the water last quarter mile. He's making every yard of the running here. Jubalbi Gold and Native Khan have moved into second and third places. Parfog is behind in third place into the dip. Frankel continues to be in front. He's six or seven lengths clear to Jubalbi Gold is coming to second. Native Khan in third position inside the last furlong. A horse to his pure class. Frankel has destroyed them from halfway. An amazing performance as Frankel heads towards the line to make every single yard in the Guinness and win it well. Jubalbi Gold in
and they're off and racing and from the stalls Frankel bounds out enthusiastically and as predicted no one wants to accommodate him in giving him a lead and Frankel and Canford Cliffs the big two are cutting out in the early running but Frankel despite leading he is racing in hand and pretty settled early on Canford Cliffs quickly drops onto his rival's tail anxious not to give away any track position as they climb steadily uphill Raj the man in third and Rio de la Plata Restrained. So Frankel now just striding on slightly leads by about a two to three lengths from Canford Cliffs as they climb uphill. In third is Rio de la Plata and Raj Saman is at the rear of the field. So Frankel, still under tight restraint, but very much Tom Queely in command of things at the moment with Canford Cliffs just allowing the leader no more than two lengths start. Tom takes a quick look and he'll see that Canford Cliffs is right on his tail. Rio de la Plata in third and Raj Saman in fourth. So Frankel at the halfway stage in the Kipco Sussex Stakes on the descent, still leading by a length and a half. Tom Queeley still sitting quietly. Canford Cliff stalking his rival, then Rio de la Plata and Raj the man. And Frankel is still travelling comfortably and is yet to be asked on the front end. Canford Cliff shadowing his rival, trying to decide when, if he can exert any pressure. And Frankel still travels strongly. Canford Cliff's the orange colours. And now Frankel, for the first time, is shaken up. Canford Cliff's in second place over a far long out. Frankel's acceleration is instant. Can Canford Cliff, who's drifting left, reel in his rival? No! No, a decisive no. Frankel, unbeaten, utilizes that turn of foot to devastating effect and wins the kick close Sussex Stakes. What a brilliant horse. Frankel saw off. And they're off and racing for the QE2 and Bullet Train is fast out as Frankel is restrained on jumping and Bullet Train blasts off down the middle of the race course, leading from Dick Turpin and Duvawi Gold, who are the first ones to give chase, Dick Turpin markedly so. Uh, Frankel, just a little keen, head to one side, racing on the outside of this stage of Celebration. Behind these, the yellow jacket of Cyglance, who's also pretty free. Immortal verse under restraint in company with Poet's Voice. So making their way down towards the six furlong point, and Bullet Train is clear by about four to five lengths over Dick Turpin in second. Dubawi Gold is in third. X Celebration with Frankel in about fourth or fifth place at the moment. Uh, behind these, the blue jacket of Poet's Voice. And then we have the keen side glance, and Immortal Verse is held up at the rear of the field. So Bullet Train out in front, still with a clear advantage. And now Frankel, and the group at the centre, is sent off pursuit of the pacemaker. Dick Turpin and Dubawi Gold deciding where they're going to go. Dick Turpin heading towards the stand side. Uh, X Celebration with Poet's Voice, Immortal Verse, and side glance. Bullet Train, the pacemaker, still has a lead of about five to six lengths. Frankel is towing up the main group with X Celebration, Poet's Voice, Immortal Verse, white and green, beginning to to steal closer. Two furlongs out, the moment of truth as Frankel moves alongside Bullet Train. Immortal Verse in danger of running up the back of the pacemaker. Frankel is asked to stretch, has found two to three lengths for acceleration. An Immortal Verse, Frankel being held together. Acceleration, two lengths down. Frankel now in full cry. Acceleration and Immortal Verse. Two quality horses are made to look mere mortals as Frankel remains unbeaten and wins the QE2. They're lined up. They're off. They race away then for the JLT lock-in stakes. Dubarby Gold is restrained and dropped to the rear of the field and Bullet Train is the first to show by around about two lengths immediately followed by Frankel and then the white cap of Windsor Palace who's just about in third position. Green jacket of Ransom note is close up. Exceleration is with the purple cap level with him and there's about two lengths then to Jubawi Gold at the rear of the field. They head on down now with the final five furlongs in front of them and it continues to be bullet train leading. He's about two lengths ahead, Tom Creeley and Frankel running in second place, about a length and a half then to Windsor Palace who's narrowly in third with the headgear from on the left is Acceleration just hidden a little bit is Ransom Note as they head then down now uh, past the halfway stage in this JLT lock-in stakes and Jubalvi Gold continues to be the back marker. The three marker is in sight. Bullet st Train still leading by around a bet length and a half to Franklin in second place. Ransom Note on the right, the green jacket encouraged to get closer. Acceleration is tracking Frankel every moment of the way and Jubalvi Gold is the back marker. Two furlongs to go. Tom Queeley decides to send him now. Here he goes. Frankel has come through to take it up. Immediately go past Bullet Train. Acceleration is in second place but under pressure and unable 
battle to close at the moment. They're inside the last furlong. Frankel in front, here comes straight win. Number 10 is six group one victory. And as they run towards the line, Frankel remains unbeaten and remains to look invincible. Frankel won. They're off. And Frankel just missed half a beat, perhaps by design, restrained with the pink cap. They go through the first 100 yards of the 2012 Judmont International, and no surprise to see Bullet Train up there with Robin Hood in the dark jacket going up between horses and Windsor Palace against the fence. A close up at the end of a furlong and a half with Shamie Heffernan and Robin Hood, who move on to set the pace. Chased by Windsor Palace with Bullet Train settling off them in third place. A truly run affair already. The leading trio have gone some four clear from St. Nicholas Abbey. Then for half, Frankie in the all blue, the nose banded three Kutra against the running rail, tracked by Frankel under a waiting ride from Tom Queeley. Twice over the green cap last year's winner, last but one, and Planteur, now in the hands of William Buick, is racing at the tail. So freewheeling their way across the maze wire and down towards the final three quarters of a mile. And Frankel has been put to sleep with just a couple behind him as on the sharp end it's Windsor Palace who leads them into the turn and around towards halfway. And stretches two lengths clear. Robin Hood from Windsor Palace. they followed through a bite bullet straight. Then this three length break to St Nicholas Abbey. In behind them for hard. A Tory waiting back in fifth place just ahead of Street Future. Frankel twice over and finally Planter. Into the straight they come. The pace setter still Robin Hood and Windsor Palace crossing towards the near side down to the last half mile. And Robin Hood followed by Windsor Palace, both ridden along, trying to stay in front of, as long as they can. Frankel is drawn away towards the extreme left track in St. Nicholas Abbey, who's under a patient ride from Joseph O'Brien. Down inside the three they come, and now the race develops. Frankel breezes up on the near side with Queely sitting motionless, and here he goes, down to the final two, into unknown territory. Fahar is taking his effort in the centre. St. Nicholas Abbey, a length and a half to make up, but Frankel, Queely shakes the reins, the response is immediate, down to the last furlong and Frankel bounds clear and this is all over Frankel scorching away this perfect mix of poetry and destruction this glory of rhythm power and majesty the undisputed champion of the world Frankel wins the Judmont International and it's 13 out of 13 the leg of the British champions middle distance group one 10 furlongs they're often racing Frankel slow away has dwelt and just required pushing into the bridle for the early stages and as such He's lost the bullet train at the front, who's having a look round Ian Mongan to see where Frankel is, and now Tom Queeley faces the dilemma. Having slept in the stalls, how close does he move? At this early stage, Sir Zegler goes forward, bullet train clearly being restrained in an attempt to try and get Frankel on his back. His rider looking round persistently. Nathaniel is in third place with Master of Hounds. A little bit of early drama with uh, Frankel in fifth place, sleeping coming out of the stalls, and Pastorius is last of the six. So Cyrus de Zegler with Nathaniel now pushing on into second place. Bullet Train trying to get in front of Frankel in third and fourth place, but unable to slipstream him. He's following Nathaniel instead. In fifth place is Master of Hounds, and Pastorius is last of the six. So Cyrus de Zegler up the side of the course leads Bullet Train, just trying to make himself a nuisance up the inside once more, and trying to move to the rails. In third place is Nathaniel. Frankel keeping his powder dry, riding rather than chasing the pace which has been picked up by Bullet Train eyeballing Cyrus de Zegler as they make their way up inside the final five. Nathaniel in third, Frankel in fourth, then Master of Hounds, and at the rear of the field is Pastorius. So out in front, Bullet Train leading and pressing on by a length or so now with half a mile to travel. From in second place, Cyrus de Zegler. Nathaniel is in third place. Frankel is in fourth with the pink cap and trying to move forward now into a challenging position. Master of Hounds and Pastorius as they move through with three furlongs to travel. Cyrus de Zegler corners in front from Nathaniel. Frankel pulls towards the outside. The pink cap, Tom Queeley, beginning to try and close down. Cyrus de Zegler from Nathaniel. Frankel keeping closer, still being held together by Tom Queeley. Cyrus de Zegler, Frankel moves alongside. Queely's finger poised on the button for one final electric burst. Frankel bidding to settle it. Cyrus de Zegler is making a fight of it on the far side. Frankel extends. Cyrus de Zegler is a worthy adversary, but up towards the line. All covers, all grounds, all beaten. Frankel won the champion stakes and lives up to the title. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.